Say 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you, Lord, for our children. Father, put a hedge of protection upon our children, our sons and our daughters. Father, pour out your spirit upon our sons and our daughters, God, as your word says you would do in these last days. Father, I ask that you would fulfill your promises, God, upon our sons and our daughters, the children of your servants, God, that you fulfill your promises, their destiny and their calling, their gifting that you have for them before the foundations of the earth, God. I praise you, Father. I glorify your name. For you are good and your plans are good. Your plans are good. Hallelujah. I praise you. You are a good God. You are holy. You are awesome. You are amazing. Thank you for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for adopting me. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Awesome, you are amazing, you are marvelous, flawless, perfect, magnificent, majestic, glorious in all of your ways. Thank you, Lord, for these beautiful waves, these beautiful oceans, waves of grace that you overflow upon my life every day. Even when I don't deserve it, God, you are still good to me. You are still good to me, God. Let my lips forever praise you, my God and my King, my Father, my bestest friend, my healer, my redeemer, my bestest friend who sticks closer than a brother, my comforter, my joy, my peace, my righteousness, my inheritance. In you I have no lack. In you I am complete. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My eternity is secure in you, God. brothers and sisters in Christ, God. Those who look to you, God, whatever their needs are today, God, I ask that you would meet their needs, protect them, comfort them, provide for them. Father, I ask that you would give them dreams and visions, Lord, to see you, to see you in the beauty of your holiness, to see you as faithful and true, to see you, God, as mighty and amazing, Father. I ask that you would open up our eyes, tear down the veil, open up our eyes to see you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Fill each heart, God. Baptize us afresh and anew with your supernatural love, God. Supernatural love, wisdom, revelation of who you are and of who we are in Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that we are co-heirs of Christ, heirs of Thank you, Lord, that we're no longer orphans. No longer broken, no longer destitute, no longer poor. Thank you, Lord, that you've adopted me to be your daughter. Father, I thank you. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you praise. For you, O oh God, are worthy. You alone are worthy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Guide my feet, Lord, on your path of truth and righteousness. Guide my feet, Lord, on your path of life. Pluck my feet, Lord, from every snares and traps of the enemy. Pluck my son's feet, God, from every snares and traps of the enemy, God. Every deception, Lord. Expose our enemies. Expose our enemies, Lord. An enemy exposed and enemy defeated, God. Father, give us power, boldness, courage, Lord, to decapitate every Goliath, every Delilah in our lives, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every serpent, every lying spirit, every hiding spirit, every unclean spirit, Father, give us power to overcome, to decapitate and destroy the enemy of our souls, God, that leads us astray from you, God and our sons and our daughters, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You've given us all power and authority to trample over snakes, scorpions, 
every demonic power principality, strong man, stronghold, we bind you and cast you into the pit in the mighty name of Jesus. You have no power over me. You have no power over my sons. You have no power over the church. You have no power. You are defeated foe. You are a defeated foe. I give you praise, I give you glory, I give you honor. All power, dominion, authority belongs to you alone, our God, our King. Hallelujah. Father, I ask that you would pour down mercy and justice. Mercy and justice. Mercy upon America, God. Mercy upon the church. Mercy upon us, your servants, globally. I ask for your mercy, God, and I ask for your justice, Father, upon the heads of our enemies, God. I ask for justice, Lord God. I ask that you would uproot the unrepented, wicked worker of iniquity that plots to kill, steal, and destroy the lives of the innocent, that murder the innocent. Father, I ask that you would arise, Lord, and let the enemy scatter. I ask that you would arise, God, and let the heathen know that you are God. I ask that you would uproot every evil rulers, leaders in both government, churches, every place, and dominion, Father. I ask that you would uproot them, Lord God, and cast them into the pit that they have dug for the righteous, for the innocent, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask that you would expose every single wicked person, Lord God, behind this mandate vaccination, God. I ask that you would expose them, God. And I ask that you would lead them to repentance and salvation, God. And if they do not, Father, I ask that you would uproot them, annihilate them from the face of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bind up the strong man. We bind up every wicked principalities that is ruling, blinding the churches of Jesus Christ in this area in Palm Coast, Father. I ask that you would bind up the demonic stronghold, strong man of unbelief and mockery and blasphemy in every churches in this area, Father. I ask that you would bind them up and cast them into the pit. And I ask you, Holy Ghost, that you would baptize you people, Lord, with your spirit, God, and fire, God. Baptize us, God, your church, with your spirit and fire, God. Father, convict us, Lord, of unbelief. Convict us, God of mockery and blasphemy of your holy word, your ways and your wills, God. I ask that you would release, Lord, your spirit of truth upon the churches, upon this area, upon this nation, God. It is the truth, your truth alone that sets us free, God. Set us free, Lord, from all captivity of all deceptions and lies of the enemy among your churches here, God. Every denomination, Father. I ask for freedom and liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, God. I ask for freedom and liberty from captivity of the enemy through demonic religious spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask that you would send your warring angels, God. Send your warring angels to battle, to overcome, to tear down every stronghold, every dominion, power, and authority over your churches here in this area, God and over the nations and globally, Father. I ask that you would tear down and destroy every power of darkness and deceptions in religion, God, that keeps men in bondage and robs you of your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, do it, God. Father, do it, God. Let you be magnified. Be magnified. Be glorified, God. Make Jesus famous, God. Make Jesus famous in our churches, in our areas, in our nations, in our government, God. Father, we glorify your holy name. We glorify your son. Holy Spirit, we need you, God. We need you more than ever, God. We need you. Breathe on us, God. Breathe on your churches. Breathe on our government. Breathe on our children, the teachers, God. Pastors, preachers, prophets, apostles, evangelists, all servants, God. We need your baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire, God. If it wasn't so, you wouldn't have sent us the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. You wouldn't have told your disciples to wait. But we need you, Lord. We need your fresh baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire to withstand, to withstand and to conquer, Lord God. Help us, Lord, to put every pieces of the full armor of God on today, Lord. Ephesians 6, verse 10 through 18. 
quicken our spirit to pray in the spirit. Father, quicken our spirit to pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Building ourselves up in our most holy faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to be obedient, Father. Help us to be obedient, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Set us apart, God. Set us apart, God. Do what you need to do in our lives, Lord. Help us, Lord, to wholly commit our heart, our lives to you. Help me, Lord, to surrender every area of my life to you, God. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Lord. I bind the spirit of greed, the spirit of corruption, Lord. You know who I'm talking about, Father. I bind it out and off of her life in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask that you would fill her, God, with your spirit of love, understanding, wisdom, justice, in the mighty name of Jesus. Your will be done, your kingdom come in this situation, in the mighty name of Jesus. I ask for fairness, I thank you, Lord, for victory and success in this area. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let blind eyes be open, deaf ears be open in the mighty name of Jesus. Tear down the veil, God. Tear down the veil so that we can see what you see. Help us to love what you love and help us to hate what you hate. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, God. We glorify you. We magnify you. We lift you up. We exalt you, God. We exalt you, God. Exalt you, God. There's no God but you. King of kings and Lord of lords. We bless your holy name. Holy Spirit, cover your spirit and breathe on us today, God. Let there be life. Let there be light in the mighty name of Jesus. Shine your lights in every area of darkness in our souls, God. Shine your lights in every area of deception, self-deception in our lives, God. Set us free. Set us free, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I bless you, Father. I praise you. I lift up those that are being persecuted for your name's sake globally, God. Those that are being persecuted for righteousness, for truth, God. Especially through this wicked vaccination mandate, God. I ask that you would comfort them. I ask that you would baptize them with holy boldness and courage to say no to put their foot down and to stand up for truth. Father, I ask that you would forgive all those, Lord, that has bowed down to the beast, that has bowed down to fear, that has bowed down to man. Father, your word says, curse is the man that trusts in man. Father, we put our hope and trust in you and you alone, God. Help us, Lord, not to bow down in cowardice to the ways of man and to man. Father, help us, Lord, to be loyal to you. We need your Holy Spirit. Give us your Holy Spirit afresh and anew, Lord. Baptize us with boldness and courage to stand strong, to endure, to persevere in these last days, Father. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for the gift of your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of faith. We thank you, God, for, for hope in you. We thank you, God, that we can put our trust in you, the unfailing one the unfailing holy God and King that sits and rule over earth, heaven, and hell. Thank you, Lord, that we can put our unfailing hope and trust in you and that our destiny, 
our lives are eternally secure in you. Help us, Lord, not to put our trust in man. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Turn every curse upon our lives that was meant to destroy us into blessings, God. And help us to give you glory and honor for every blessings in our lives today and every day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your goodness is unending. Thank you, God. Thank you for your unfailing protection provision upon my life. I thank you, Lord, for you are faithful and true. You are my Abba Daddy God and King. You are my mother. You are my bestest friend, the lover of my heart and soul. You are the air that I breathe. I thank you, Lord, that in you I lack nothing. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, I ask that you would chase away every Delilah, every Pharaoh, every seducing spirit, every lying spirit that tries to come and lead my heart astray from you, Father. I ask that you would do whatever is necessary, Lord God, to remove them, each and every one of them, out of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you hear my prayers. Thank you, Lord, that you hear my prayers. Thank you, Lord, that you answer my prayers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bless my friends, God. Bless my friends today. Those that are humble and meek that are seeking after you, God. I ask that you would give them the desires of their hearts. Those that are oppressed, oppressed, suppressed by demonic tormenting spirits, God. I ask that you would break those chains and set them free. Lead them out of their captivity, Lord. Whether it is a bondage to their uh, spouse, Lord God. Bondage to their the demonic evil um, partners, God. Or whatever they are. Business partners, friends, neighbors, relatives. Father, I ask that you would give them the courage to come out of their dungeon. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, God. Let them know how much you love them. Let them know that it's not your plan for them to be abused, suppressed, oppressed, oppressed, abused in any way, shape, or form. Your plans are good, God. You died for us, Jesus, on Calvary to set us free. And no man, no demon has the power to bind us in any way, shape, or form. For we are your sons and your daughters, and we are free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. For, to, set us free. Thank you, Lord, for your blood that sets us free. Thank you for Calvary that gives us victory, God. Thank you for Calvary that gives us victory. Hallelujah. Thank you for setting me free, God. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No weapon formed against me shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon formed against your church, your redeemed, those born of your Holy Ghost, obedient, walking in your ways shall be overcome by any powers in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Help us to abide under the shelter of the Most High. Help us to abide, Lord God, in the shelters of the Most High. Obey your word. Keep your covenant, God. Help us to be loyal and faithful, for you seek faithfulness. You seek faithfulness, and you reward those who diligently seek you. You reward your faithful servants <laughs> with holy mansions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for my mansion and glory that you've shown me. Thank you for my oceanfront mansion and glory that you built for me, Jesus. I bless your holy name. I thank you, God, for you are so, so good to me. Thank you, God. You are so good to all of your children, to all of your faithful servants. You are good. You are good. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Lord, that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. I thank you for your faithfulness in giving me revelation wisdom of your kingdom, of your love, of your heart, God, and of the kingdom of darkness that comes against us, our nation, our lives, our children, and family, God. I thank you, Lord, for holy wisdom and revelation that comes from you alone, the God of truth. 
the spirit of truth. I thank you, Lord. I bless you, Lord, for you are so good. You are so good to me. I bless you, God. Thank you, Lord. Every chains, God, break every chains, break every chains in the mighty name of Jesus. Let freedom ring, God. Let freedom ring, God, upon your children, upon your sons and your daughters. Set them free from the demonic spirit of fear, anxiety, self hate, depression, oppression. Set them free, God, as they look to you, Lord, as they bask in your presence and wait upon you, Lord. Raise them up like a mighty eagle. Raise them up, God. Raise them up. Fill them with your spirit, God. Convict our hearts of anything and everything, Lord, that is displeasing to you. Convict our hearts. Cleanse us from our filthy stains. Cleanse us. Wash us white as snow, God. Wash us white as snow. Although our sins are crimson red, wash us white as snow, Jesus. Let your living water flow out of our innermost being. Let your living water, your Holy Spirit, your word of truth, your word of life flow out of us, God, from our inner man. And let it bless and saturate our atmosphere and the thirsty souls surrounding us, Lord, that are hurting, that are lost, that are depressed, that are sad, that are lonely, God. Let your living water overflow out of us upon them, God. Help us to be an encourager today. Help us to bring encouragement, God, and hope to all that you bring our path today and every day, Lord. Help us to live beyond ourselves. Help us to live selfless lives like you did, Lord Jesus. Forgive us, Lord, for our selfishness, self-centeredness, arrogance, and pride. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, God. Forgive me, God. Forgive me, God. Help me to release everything that you put in me. My spiritual gifting, anointing, finances, whatever it is, God. Everything that you've given me, God, all comes from you. Fill my heart with love, mercy, and compassion, Lord, for the broken, for the hungry, the thirsty, for the unlovable, God, as I've been unlovable many times, most of my life. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy.
righteousness, my inheritance, my rock, my refuge. You're my everything, God. I cannot live without you. I refuse to live without you. Take not your spirit away from me, God. Take not your Holy Spirit away from me, God. Cleanse me from all iniquity. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We bless you. We love you.